Another assumption that we can only test once we have collected data is the assumption of homogeneity of variance. Homogeneity means of the same kind. So the assumption of homogeneity of variance is that the variance of two or more groups is equal. It is only necessary to test for this assumption when you are comparing groups, such as using an independent samples t-test or a one-way ANOVA. It is not necessary to test for homogeneity of variance when you are using repeated measures, such as a paired t-test or repeated measures ANOVA. Let me illustrate why this assumption matters. Here we have two distributions. These distributions have exactly the same mean as represented by the number line that runs across the x-axis. I want you to consider this value right here. For this leptokurtic distribution, that would be a very extreme score. However, for the distribution with greater variance, this is going to be a rather typical score right here in our distribution. Therefore, the meaning of any particular finding depends on which is our reference group. In this group, the finding could be found to be statistically significant because it is so far from this mean based on this variability. On the other hand, in this group, this particular score is not very different from the mean. It is statistically non-significant. Therefore, if we violate the assumption of homogeneity of variance, we are likely to make type 1 or type 2 errors. We can test this assumption of homogeneity of variance using Levine's test. And I'm going to teach you Levine's test when I teach you an independent samples t-test. We will revisit it when we learn about the one-way ANOVA. What should you do if you test for homogeneity and determine that the variance of your two groups are not equal? In that case, we can use the Welch's t-test or a variant with the ANOVA as a substitute for student's t-test. And I'll teach you about Welch's t-test as we learn about independent samples t-tests as well.